Hello and welcome back. As being an electronic enthusiast, along my career, I have gathered a lot of PCBs, also known as printed circuit boards. But apart from reverse engineering and understanding some fascinating circuits, what else can we do from those PCBs? Guess what? We can salvage some important components that are sometimes rare as well as expensive. So grab on your soldering irons and get ready to witness the biggest salvage of electronic components. So let's get started. What are preamplifiers and how can you create a preamplifier from scratch? So in the next video, I will talk about preamplifiers and how I created one. So still then stay tuned. Now back to our video. So first things first, desoldering or salvaging the components require quite a skill as well as some handy tools to have. Firstly, you require a desoldering pump, a shoulder wick and a soldering iron obviously and a plier in case the component doesn't want to come out on its own. Anyways, let's start. One of my favorite things which I search for as well as salvage initially are the heat sinks, basically different kinds of heat sinks as some of them are custom made and can be quite expensive. I will make a separate video on heat sinks. Heat sinks can be of various types and quite handy to have. Secondly, I search for coils which are the most expensive components in the field of electronics. Then the different types of coils like drum type, toroid and to some extent ferrite core inductors. Then the most fascinating components that I definitely venture for are ferrite core transformers of different sizes and different shapes basically different cores as to mention them. Ferrite core transformers can be quite important if you are a power guy. Another components that I recently found in the gathered PCBs are the ignition coils or in other words flyback transformers which can be the high voltage source you need and are quite rare except if you still have old CRT TVs lying around you. Next up are some high voltage maybe 2 kV, 5 kV, 10 kV and 15 kV ceramic capacitors, some polypropylene capacitors, film capacitors, most commonly used electrolytic capacitors, some PTCs, NTCs and MOVs which are quite rare and quite good to have. So then I salvage relays whether it be T-type or normal 4-pin relays which can be quite expensive and useful in times. Now it's time to talk about what are the things I never salvage or never gather. Typically to desolder SMD components is quite useless and tedious task as well as time consuming because SMD components are quite cheap as well as small and fragile as it can be broken easily. So it's not worth it. So I never salvage or desolder ICs as they are quite cumbersome to take out and quite a lot of pins are included in them. So I refrain from it. Some of the other components like resistors which are quite cheap to find and have shortened leads in, in PCBs so that it is not worth it to shoulder. So I also collect screws, nuts, bolts, spades and some lugs as well as some washers and you never know when you need it. For shoulder 